Thank you for the opportunity to present Senate Bill 642, which would protect Missouri taxpayers, students, and parents um, from being forced to subsidize the tuition of those illegally present in our country. For the past several years, Madam Chairman, the Missouri state budget has contained a provision restricting in-state tuition to those lawfully present in this country. Last year, there was some controversy uh, when the Senate Appropriations Committee omitted this important provision from the budget. Ultimately, it was in the final budget approved by the legislature and sent to the governor. Senate Bill 642 would reinforce federal law. The Illegal Immigration and Immigrant Responsibility Act of 1996, uh, 8 U.S. Code 1623, prohibits any person not lawfully present in the United States from receiving a post-secondary education benefit unless any other citizen or national of the United States would be eligible for that same benefit. In other words, if students from Illinois or Arkansas or Missouri or, or Indiana or, or New York would not be eligible for in-state tuition, it is illegal under federal law to offer such a benefit to those illegally present in the country. The real question here is the use of scarce resources, both those of taxpayers and those of the parents and students who pay the tuition to our public institutions. In-state tuition at the University of Missouri-Columbia is $12,094. Out-of-state tuition is $28,774. In other words, we are subsidizing tuition for in-state residents to the tune of $16,680. Since we only have so much money in our state budget and parents and students only have so much money to pay tuition, the question is, who are we going to subsidize? The policy of having an in-state tuition rate that is lower by more than half of the cost of educating students at the University of Missouri represents a decision to subsidize the tuition of Missouri residents as opposed to that of out-of-state residents. Why then should Missouri taxpayers, parents, and students be forced to subsidize those illegally present in our country when such benefits are not available to Americans? Senate Bill 660, 642 simply states that no public institution of higher education shall offer a tuition rate to any student unlawfully present in the United States that is less than the tuition rate charged to international students. I'd be happy to take any questions.